Welcome everyone. This tutorial will explain how to enter the SNF Alberta UKC Nosework Trial. I'm Carla Simon, current president of SNF Alberta and owner of Hunter's Heart. And I've been receiving a lot of questions on how to enter the trial. So here's a quick and dirty tutorial today as entries open and I hope it's helpful. So to get the information on our trial, go to the SNF Alberta website, snfalberta.ca, and in the top navigation bar, UKC Trials, you will see the information on the trial. And if you click here, you will bring up the trial premium and entry form. And that's what it looks like. Now, a disclaimer, when you enter a nosework trial, it's really helpful to read the rules and it's your responsibility to understand what these things mean. UKC has new nose work rules effective January 1st, 2017. And here's their new website. And this is the page you go to to check out the rules that will help you understand the details of everything that I'm just covering briefly here. And so here's the premium list for the trial. The premium list is just all the information you need to enter. So hosted by SNF Alberta, here's our judges. The trial will be inside and outside. Containers are usually inside, vehicles are outside. We're subject to a maximum judging limit per UKC rules. Pre-entries open March 1st and close on May 15th. We sold out last year, so we're not really expecting day of show entries, but if it doesn't go as planned, here's the information for that. And we're offering four trials. So there's trial one and two happen on Saturday. Trial three and four happen on Sunday. And every day we're offering the following events. Pre-trial from novice to elite. So all levels of pre-trial. And the level tells you what the odor is. So the novice pre-trial is birch. The advanced pre-trial is anise. The superior pre-trial is clove and then you have myrrh and vetiver for masters and elite. And we're also offering all levels of container searches and interior searches in trial one Saturday. Trial two Saturday is pre-trial again, exteriors and vehicle searches. And then we repeat the same thing again on Sunday. So if you enter all the events and you pass everything twice, then you would complete your titles because you just need two passes to get the title. So uh, in pre-trials, you only need one pass. If you pass the novice pre-trial using Birch, then you can compete in the novice elements. And if you pass novice containers twice, then you get your novice containers title. And scrolling down a bit, here's the cost. $10 per pre-trial, $25 for the elements, assuming that you're doing the pre-entries. All fees are in Canadian. And thank you to Pat, our wonderful trial secretary, for all your hard work. Here's how you sell, send your entries to Pat. So here is the UKC Nose Work Trial Entry Form and the Host Club Sniff Alberta. I'm going to do the easiest case first. Um, because that will be a lot of you, and I hope it's helpful. I'm thinking of Banjo, who's never competed in nose work, and his owner has never competed in nose work. So they're going to be Class A. So the dog needs a, a permanent registration number in UKC, or a performance listing, depending on whether they're a purebred dog for the permanent registration, and there's a lot of specific rules about that. That's a separate uh, topic. Or if you have your performance listing, then it goes here. And some numbers. Banjo is male. And I'm just giving him his birthday here. His complete registered name that she filled out the registration forms for his call name, so just his short nickname. He's a beagle. His search queue is usually find it. Uh, it would be safe to say that pretty much any dog could have look 
as the alert behavior and the uh, this is not a junior handler so don't fill in those the owner's names and their address in Calgary Alberta and their phone number and their email so that the show secretary can get in touch with them there are so many boxes on the form and I think the easiest thing to do is to decide what you want to enter first, looking at the premium list and maybe even to write it down. So here we go. There's the premium list. So just thinking about Saturday, the first thing the team needs to do is they need to pass a pretrial in order to be eligible to compete in the container, interior, exterior and vehicle searches. You only need to pass once and then you have it for life. And the novice pretrial is using Birch. So the first thing they want to do is enter that Birch pretrial. Here it is on the form. So we're going with Saturday mornings, trial one, they're class A. They want to do the pretrial and they definitely need to do the novice. Now they have to think about some other stuff. Would they enter the other odor pretrials and get them out of the way? And this handler does want to do that. So we trained on cocktail. The dog also knows anise, so they're going to do their advanced pretrial. The dog also knows clove, so they're going to do their superior trial. And that's all at the A level on Saturday. Now, the levels are what you need the different boxes for. So if Olivia then said, she's going to enter a container on the same box. The show secretary wouldn't know if she means novice container on birch or advanced container on anise. So she needs a second box. Still Saturday. Trial one. She's only doing A and she's only competing in novice for containers interiors, exteriors, vehicles, and we aren't offering a full trial where those all happen at the same time, and we aren't offering handler discrimination. So that is for Saturday trial one, and I made a mistake here in explaining to you, trial one is only the, trial one is the containers and interior. So exterior and vehicle are actually trial two on Saturday, so she's also going to do trial two on Saturday. So those are all of her entries for Saturday. Now we're going to think about Sunday and this dog, it's easy. They're just going to fill in the boxes again. Same thing. Sunday. Oh, and I made a mistake here. This is June. June 3rd is the Saturday, Sunday is June 4th, and she wants to enter both the trials. She's always A, she's working on novice. Let's assume she already passed the pre-trial, she doesn't need to do that anymore, so she's going to just do novice container, exterior, interior, vehicle, and that's everything she wants to do, all done. Then she figures how much it costs. So pre-trials were $10 each and she had three pre-trials only. So that's $30 for the pre-trials and all of her elements, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight elements at $25 each. So that's 200. And when you add them up, you get her total due. And so I believe that's $230 Canadian. And then she has to go on and sign her waiver. We can't accept it without that signature and put in the date. And parent would have to sign. And here's the uh, waiver that says that uh, videos and so on can go on social media from this event. Sign again, print your name and your dog names, Banjo, and then submit that to our show secretary. 
including the payment. And that's it for her entries. So that's an easy one. Now, it would be even easier if she only wanted to do birch. So if she only wanted to do birch, she didn't want to do the other pretrials, then she could just do this because she's only doing birch. So that would be her Saturday one. And uh, cancel this section here. She wouldn't need this box anymore because she's only doing birch. And again, on Sunday, she would do trial one and two, only novice, only birch. She already passed her pre-trial, and that's her box for Sunday. And then she just finish it, send in the money, and that's her entry. In this simple case, let's just consider what she's eligible to title in. If she passes all of these things, she's going to get her pre-trial novice for Birch. And she did containers on Saturday and Sunday and she passed. So that's two passes. So she would get her novice container title. And if she does exterior novice on Saturday and Sunday and she passes both, she gets her novice exterior title. Similarly, she would finish her novice interior title, her novice vehicle title. And once you've completed all those novice element titles, then you get your novice nosework title. And you can either continue to compete at the next trial in the B class, because B is for been there, done that. Or then she would be able to move up to advanced and work on Annis. So she would get a qualifying ribbon for every search she passed. So that'd be nine qualifying ribbons. Note that the pretrial is non-competitive. There's no placements in that. In the elements, so container, exterior, interior, and vehicle, there are placements. And they are awarded to faultless runs first and then runs with faults if there's any spots left. This is a big trial, so probably only faultless runs can place, and they would get a placement ribbon. Also, there's going to be high-end trial. High-end trial is the fastest run at that level. Um, it used to be there was only one high-end trial for all the levels, but now there's going to be, in 2017, according to the new rules, there's going to be high-end trial novice, and that would be the fastest novice run in trial one and the fastest trial, sorry, and high in trial two would be the fastest novice run in trial two. And again, that's faultless runs and that's how you get to high in trial. And according to the new rules, there's also going to be an advanced high in trial for every trial, a superior high in trial for every trial and so on. And there's special junior awards, but this isn't a junior. An important note for everyone is on your record keeping. Say I made a mistake on my dog's number or my dog's levels. Don't worry about it. You just need to fill in a move up or correction form in paper and submit it to the show secretary as well in advance as you can to make our job easier to make their, sure that everything is correct. And the show secretary doesn't know anything about your dog's previous performance, so it's up to you to know what points and passes and titles your dog has so you can enter appropriately. And if you're not sure, then the people to ask are the United Kennel Club and ask for a points check on your dog to confirm what you have, and then you can take care of any move ups or corrections by filling out the move up or correction form. So always take a snapshot of what you win uh, and those score sheets and keep it on file. And eventually the UKC will, uh, after we submit the results, send you the certificates for any titles you've earned and post that on their websites. So that is the easiest case of a dog that has never competed and what it would look like. One confusing thing about entering our trial is pre-trials. We always have a lot of questions at every trial, um, so we understand that it's confusing and we'll try our best to help and explain. But again, it's your job as a competitor to know the rules before you compete. 
So you need to pass a pretrial before you compete in the elements. If you're in novice, you need to pass the birch pretrial once, and then you are allowed to compete in novice containers, interiors, exteriors, and vehicles. If you've competed in NACSW and you have obtained an odor recognition test in birch, then that is an acceptable alternative. But those NACSW competitions aren't in Canada, so that won't apply to most of the SNF Alberta members. And here is all the odors that pretrials are available for. So the level determines the odor. For example, the advanced pretrial tests anise only, the superior pretrial tests clove only, masters tests myrrh, and elite tests vetiver. All of my students train on cocktail of birch, anise, clove. So your dog should recognize odor in the novice, advanced, and superior pretrials. And it's up to you if you want to get those all out of the way at your first trial. Or if you have an older dog that doesn't have a lot of search stamina, just keep it easy. You only have to pass the novice pretrial and then you can go on and compete in the elements and you can worry about the other odor pretrials some other day. I have seen at trials where people entered every pretrial, so that's for every odor, and they failed on birch, anise, clove, myrrh, but passed on vetiver, so therefore they earned their vetiver elite pretrial certificate and they never had to do it again, but they did have to keep on trying to pass that novice pretrial. Now these are some unusual circumstances that we're talking about for the sake of thoroughness uh, and sorry that it doesn't apply to most. Most people pass their pretrial. So it's only 12 boxes, there's three minutes, your dog doesn't need an indication, you just have to identify the hot box and hopefully you've acquired those skills in training. That's lots of time and you can easily pass your first pretrial. What if you fail? Well, unfortunately, you would not be eligible to compete at that trial in novice until you've passed the Birch pretrial. Going back to our premium list here, notice that you have four chances to pass any pretrials that you want to try. So trial one has a pretrial at all levels. Trial 2, also on Saturday, has a pretrial of all levels. Trial 3 has a pretrial of all levels. And Trial 4 on Sunday has a pretrial of all levels. So you get four chances to pass the Birch pretrial. And to, truly, if you can't pass the Birch pretrial, then your dog is probably not ready to do a vehicle search. What you could do, if you want to, is you could enter all four Birch pretrials. And then if you pass the first one on Saturday, then you would fill out the form and you'd be eligible to move up in trial two to do the ANIS or advanced pretrial and so on. So move ups would be allowed and that's one of your options. Another confusing area about entering a UKC trial for a lot of people is whether to enter the A or B. For every one of these events, you have to fill in whether you're in the A or B class. And you can be in, say for example, uh, you want to continue to compete in novice containers after you've got your title for experience, that's allowed, you would have to be in novice B. But if you had never titled in advanced containers, then you would compete in advanced a. Here are some of the guidelines. A is for newbies. If it's your first trial in nose work and your dog's first trial in nose work and you own the dog or it's the dog of one of your immediate family members, then you're class A. When in doubt, enter B. B is for been there, done that, for experienced teams such as instructors or if you've already titled in that element at that level, in the UKC or another organization, you should enter B. If you have your novice nose work and you're competing in advanced containers, it's the first time you're doing an advanced container search, you're entering section A. 
And once you have passed one leg of advanced containers, you still enter advanced containers section A until you complete that title. So you don't need to move up to B after earning the first pass in advanced containers, but when you have two passes in advanced containers, then you have to move up to B if you want to continue to compete in advanced containers, or you can move to superior containers in A. Remember that the A and B sections also apply to the handlers, not just the dogs. So if the handler has a master container with Johnny and he wants to start trialing with Molly, unfortunately, Molly has to run in the B section when competing in novice, advanced, superior, or master containers based on the handlers experienced. So for example, as an instructor, I handled one of my student's dogs because the student was just post-surgery. And even though the dog had never competed, because of my experience as a handler titling at Elite, the dog had and I had to compete in section B. And also because I don't own the dog and it's I'm not an immediate family member, then just because I handle someone else's dog by virtue of that, I have to enter class B. If a dog has earned up to superior nose work title and you want a different handler like your cousin to trial that dog in novice for the handler experience value, then because that dog already earned its novice titles, that dog would have to compete in B. A person entering advanced vehicles could enter section A if they've titled in advanced interior but they haven't entitled, sorry, they haven't titled in advanced vehicle. Therefore, on that basis, they'd be section A. And when this person went up to superior containers for the first time, they could start again in section A until they get the superior container title. And then they have the choice to continue to compete in B for superior containers or move up to master's containers in A. Next, I'll tell you about a more complicated Sniff Alberta entry form for a handler that competed last year. So it's not their first nose work trial anymore. Last year, BB completed the novice pre-trial title with one pass and got two passes in novice containers, so completed the novice containers in 2016. And got one pass in each of the following events, novice interior, exterior, and vehicles. Those were all done in the A section because last year was their first nose work competition. So that team could continue to compete in novice containers B because they got that title, or they can try for a new title and compete in advanced containers A on Saturday and Sunday. And that's what they decided to do. In order to complete, sorry, in order to compete in advanced containers, they need to pass that pretrial ANIS, so the advanced pretrial in Saturday, to be eligible to go on and do advanced containers, interior, exterior, and vehicle. They don't need to complete it on a different day. The same day is fine. So if they pass the advanced pre-trial Saturday morning trial one, then right there at that trial, they can compete in the advanced elements. So here's their form, all the identifying information up above, and they're going to do the pre-trial advanced. Let's say they're only going to enter it once on the Saturday, and then assuming they pass, they're also going to be entered in advanced container. And they need a new box because they also want to do some novice events and that won't fit there. And still working on Saturday trial one, they're going to do the novice. They already got their pre-trial, they don't want to redo. 
they're doing advanced containers. So for novice, they want to do their exterior, interior, and vehicle. And they're going to be A because they're new to those elements at that level. And also note that if they got the one pass they need in novice exterior, they could complete their novice exterior title on Saturday. And then they can continue to compete in novice exterior B, or if they fill out the move up form on Sunday, they could move up to advanced exteriors as long as they pass that advanced pretrial. So I would just repeat those boxes for Sunday, two more boxes. And scrolling down a little bit here. They would have the option to enter the advanced pretrial more than once if they want to, um, or they could also enter other pretrials, like say on Sunday, they assume they passed that one, and they could try for their pretrial at the superior master and elite level in trial one Sunday. And again, that they would be class A because they hadn't completed those yet, although classes don't matter for the pretrials. So that would be their events. And then they calculate the price accordingly, fill in their waivers and their money with their entry, and they would be ready to enter those trials. So that's what all the boxes are for is when you're entering multiple levels because you've already got some passes and you're not competing in the same level in pretrials as you are in, say, vehicles because you've got some previous experience. That concludes the tutorial on how to enter the Sniff Alberta UKC trial. I hope you find it helpful and if you do, uh, please like and subscribe to our channel and we'll send you all of our tips and resources about nose work. I hope you can join us for the trial. We're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks for listening in.